Hi folks, Steve here for Modgician.com, making Minecraft modding as easy as possible. And today we'll be running through the installation process for GUI API. So starting from the Magician homepage at Modgician.com, we want to click on the core section, as this is a core mod. Now this will take us straight to the front page, so we'll scroll down till we find GUI API and then click on the heading there. And that'll take us to the GUI API front page, where we can see the creator's description and all of that sort of thing, their credits. We'll scroll down and we'll see there's no known dependencies or conflicts, so we don't have to worry about that. So we'll scroll straight back up and go to the Download and Installation tab. Now the first thing we notice are the three big warnings up the top, two of which we have to worry about immediately, the third we can worry about in a moment. First, we have to make sure we are not running Minecraft when installing this mod, and secondly, this tutorial assumes you followed all the instructions in the toolkit section of the Modgician website. Now, if you haven't done that yet, you want to go sign up and do that now, but assuming you have, we will move on. And this is where the other warning comes in. As soon as we go to download GUI API, we have to make sure that the version of the mod we're downloading matches the version of Minecraft we're using. Now, I've got Minecraft 1.2.5 at the moment, so I will click on that link there. Now, I've got Mindset to ask me where I want to download everything. If you don't, it'll go straight into your Downloads folder, but we actually want it to go to your Desktop and your Mod Downloads. And then we click on the correct version number for the version of Minecraft we're using. I have 1.2.5, as I mentioned, and then hit Save, and it will suck down the file into that location there. So, now we can minimize this window here and double click on the Mod Downloads folder which you set up on your desktop during the Toolkit section. Then we'll go into 1.2.5 and there's the file we just got. So what we want to do is right click on it, select 7-zip and then Open Archive. There we go. And we'll just leave that one on the right there and we can close down this window for the moment since we're finished with it. And we want to go to the dot minecraft shortcut which again you set up in the toolkit section so we double click on that and we want to look for bin it should be right up the top we'll double click there and then look for minecraft dot jar and then we want to do exactly what we did with the file we just downloaded we right click 7-zip and then open archive there we are, we'll leave that one on the left. Then we can shut down this little window since we're done with that. So on the right, we've got the file we just downloaded. On the left, we've got the opened minecraft.jar. So over in this window, we want to hit Control A, which is your keyboard shortcut to grab everything. And then we want to click and drag it over to the left window. Excellent. When it asks when you want to copy the archive over, just click yes. And that'll finish all that off. Lovely. Excellent. Now we can shut down this window on the right. And as it says on the website, the penultimate stage is to look for a yellow folder called meta-inf. And that will be found in the minecraft.jar. It might not be there. And if it's not, you don't have to worry about it. And we can see it's, it's not here on this occasion. But if it is there, you have to delete it immediately. So now that we've seen it's not there, we can shut down this window and go on to the last stage, which is to load Minecraft itself. Okay, so there's Minecraft. Now we're just going to log in here. And basically, as soon as you see the Mojang splash screen, there it is, we know everything's probably working okay, but it's still worth loading a single-player world just to check that everything's okay. And here we are in my little world, and yes, it looks like everything's working fine. And look what I've made for you all. Isn't that nice? Solid gold blocks, I'll have you know, up against an obsidian wall. I'm, I'm terribly proud of that, even though I did use too many items to make it, of course. Okay, so that is it. Assuming you've followed all the instructions in this tutorial properly, you now have GUI API installed for your copy of Minecraft. We hope you found this video useful. Feel free to come back to Modgician.com to get any other mods you might want for your copy of Minecraft. And until then, good luck and good gaming. Oh, baby, oh.